2009 was the 14th consecutive year for commercialization of biotech crops. One of the interesting aspects is that there is a shift in favor of developing countries. In 2009, 46% of the biotech crops were grown in developing countries and they had a much higher growth rate, a 13% growth rate compared with a 3% growth rate in industrial countries. Introduction of BT technology in cotton has been a breakthrough in the recent history of agriculture in India. In 2009, BT cotton technology has contributed a whooping $1.8 billion to the farm economy alone. India has become the second largest cotton producing country in the world after China. And India is also the number one raw cotton exporter in the world. The Philippines gained something close to $50 million additional benefits from the adoption of biotech corn. Economic benefits to farmers, $125 to $180 per hectare, which is a fortune for around 250,000 corn farmers in the country. The results of employing BT cotton have been spectacular. The additional income that can be generated in Burkina Faso is $100 million per year. However, the major development in Africa over the next few years will be the availability of biotech drought-tolerant maize. These drought genes are a set of genes that virtually no farmer in the world can be without. With the remarkable success of BT cotton in India, there is a renewed interest among both public and private sector institutions to develop new biotech crop. Biofortified potato, tomato, and golden rice have been at the various stages of development in the country. There is a need for sharing of knowledge and attributes of these technologies with the society. ISA has been involved in knowledge sharing and capacity building programs for the success of biotech crop in India. Rice is the most important uh, food crop uh, of the world. While rice among the major cereals, it lacks beta-carotene, the precursor of vitamin A. Around 250,000 to half a million children go blind every year due to vitamin A deficiency. Golden rice is a biofortified rice that produces beta-carotene, the precursor of vitamin A. And what about the future? We project that the number of countries will double from 20 in 2005 to 40 in 2050. But the growth for the future will be in the developing countries where the need for food, feed and fiber is greatest.